So, here we have, um, this is IFH Beyond stepping on the mic. We're gonna have a Falco vs. Sheik matchup, it looks like, versus N2XX Oasis and IFH Roid. Both these players are busters. I, uh, I beat them regularly, so should be a should be a good match to watch because they're both bad. Not the highest level of skill though. So, this is hand warmers, and once the hand warmers are over, we'll get the, the actual game. Uh, let me answer something. Alright. So, we are here at Rutgers, New Brunswick, College Avenue Campus, 95 Senior Street at Smash Castle number one. It's got a little. It's been uh, an interesting tournament so far. A little bit of glitches and errors, but so all in all, everything seems to be running. So that's all that matters. And the TO is in like embezzling money, I think. So that's important. And this is a. Uh, I think I'm not sure how long you're allowed to hide warmer because I know Mute King takes like the full time allotted, but the game's over. So. Why is there a... Is this in the way? What's... Oh no, it's just his overlay. There we go. Now you can see Sam's beautiful face. So... Oof. Something vibrating next to me. Alright, we got the, the awkward fist bump. And we're gonna get started with game one over here. And I think... Do I need to... No, I guess this is the, the layout. I don't have to change it. So, Cheeky versus Falco. This is my most played matchup by far. And it really comes down to how good the Falco can L cancel and how good he can space. Because Sheik will. She can, she can space with a tilt and jab, but that's not much else. She, she has a lot of good out of shield options, which is Nair, Grab, Wave Dash. But basically, it all comes down to how hard the Falco is pressuring. Like, if the Falco is doing really well executed pressure if L cancels and good spacing, then she has no neutral. She has to find like a, a raw grab or just a really gimpy down smash or just narrow a shield. Falco's not DIing these tilts though, so... Now, the reason why that Nair didn't hit is because he was too high. He would just hit the tip. If he hit the body, it would have connected. Good, good option. Coverage. I would have still gone for a Nair, but it's, it's up to the playstyle and... One thing you'll see on this platform, because this has the, the three platforms like that. Oh, nice dumpster. Roy takes the first stock. One thing you'll realize is that as Sheik's getting pillared, Falco's doesn't really have the best options out of the tech. If this was Yoshi's or Pokemon Stadium, if she gets pillared onto a platform, it's a it's a raw smash, guaranteed. And that might be a tech flub. That should have been a forward error. I mean, I would have gone for one. That's death, though. That's an easy layup. You just F-tilt, forward error. Simple as that. So, okay, here we go. Pillaring is gonna start, and up tilt. No, nope, misses the read. Should have shielded and then gone for another one. But goes for the up air. Both of these players are playing very slow and kind of scared, honestly. Like I think, obviously, there's a lot of ego in Smash players, so none of these players want to lose each other. But that's a beautiful dumpster. And right now, rise up a full stock. And as Sheik, this is not a situation you want to be in. She has to get a grab, like yesterday, to catch up because she has no real momentum options. And all she has a grab, and if you miss that grab, then that's it. You have you have to find another one. Which, if you're facing a good Falco, then you won't find one. But but uh, Roy's not a good Falco, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, a, yeah, if you miss that tech, that's a fair. So, you need to hit that tech. When well, Sheik has amazing co coverage options if you miss a tech. And there's a popping up going off over there. I, I think it's like Kosa playing. Um, that angle is kind of hard for Sheik to edge guard, But it, it's doable. She has to grab a ledge and then uh, go down and hit him with something. Or wait for him to come back up. Easy layup. Okay, so this is doable for both players. Obviously, Roy has an advantage coming in two stocks to one, but one grab is all it takes. If he gets the tech chase over and over again, he um, he'll he'll, lose, he'll win. I'm sorry, but doesn't look like he's hitting the tech chases too well, and he's also not going for the grabs as often as he should. Like he's going for these dash dash attacks or tilts when he should be grabbing, in my opinion. So. 
Oh, he went to Akazu with climbers. He's pretty good otherwise. Oof. That should be dead. Yeah. So, uh, Roy takes the first game. Uh, decently convincingly. Not not the best uh, performance, but that's good enough to take down game one. So we're going to Dreamland on game two, and this is a good counter pick for Sheik. The reason why is because the platforms are bigger, so you ha you have less. Um, you also can't get hit with an easy smash after a grab. So no, I lost YTG, but yeah, and yes, this is losers uh, round three, I believe. I'm not sure. No, I don't think that was updated. This is this was from the Kosa. Yeah, it's some shit. So. As I was saying, this, game, this map is really good for Sheik because she can't get raw and smashed on the pillars. It's harder for Falco to chase her because it's a big map. And also, he re she recovers better while Falco's recovery still sucks. Uh, Sheik loves platforms, so that's why you don't see Sheik's taking them, their opponents to FDE usually. And Sam takes the first stock. Yo, Sonic and Richard 2 battle single bracket right after this. Let's go! This is a random copy with this. We got height. We got hype for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, I'm over a melee guy, but we'll see what happens. Edge guard uh, could have re-grabbed. Uh, down smash is only works if you hit the right angle, which is the one above the foot, like, and you can send them out at an awkward angle and they go down. And it's easy edge guards, but mm, that, that's a, yeah, he can't fair that. Interesting option coverage by uh, Oasis. He went straight for a ledge without waiting for Sam to use his double jump. Roy uses double jump, and that allows Roy to go high up. But, but Roy did um, not properly recover from that. Now, one thing, one thing to note is that uh, Sheik is not properly using the platforms. Sheik is just staying on one field, and she's not moving around as much as she should. But it seems to be working because uh, he's caught up. But we'll see if it stays. Edge guard opportunity. No, it doesn't convert. And this is an edge guard opportunity. This is scary. That's it. So, what you saw there is he reacted well. He 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 had to jump. Um, he didn't. He waited for Sam to actually use his jump, so he would know where right for his jump. So it, it limits the options. And that should be death. It's it's. Roy's gonna grab ledge and dumpster him because he did the flip too early. You're only invincible as soon as the poof comes up, so that's important for all you newer sheet players who are wondering why you got hit if you're supposed to be invincible. Good DI by uh, Roy, but he jumped too early. If he if he jumped a little bit later or did the input earlier, he would have gotten him on the way in. And now the pillaring begins, but get up attack stops that. Misses the ledge cancel. That's something that could have been easily punished, but yeah, both players are missing a lot of attacks and um, a, lot, a lot of attacks and a lot of punishes. So that's one thing you'll you'll see with newer, less experienced players that they don't punish as hard as say any of the mid to higher tier players. So this match is still anyone's game. Cheeks gonna okay misses the grab. That could have been that could have been one good grab setup and. Not only are you putting on damage, but you're also removing momentum. Grabs is grabs are really big on time killers, especially if your opponent doesn't mash out. You can just pummel them, and not only are they taking damage, but they're losing their mentality, saying, "Oh my god, I'm getting tech chased by Sheik." And that's one thing you need to do in Smash. You need to get into your opponent's head. <laughs> it's less about and someone's touching my foot. It's less about actually being better than your opponent and just more about beating them, especially when it comes to random matchups. Especially when it comes to different matchups, you have to really be on top of how you play the game, how you play your opponent instead of playing the game. And my my crewmates are, are harassing, caressing me. That should be death. And oh no, my my mistake. That's death. Okay. So we're going to game three, and all right. So he's gonna ban FD. He's chic. He's not going to want to take him to FD, because he has no platform movement. And he bans Pokemon Stadium, which means that... Uh, which means that FD is probably going to be the... Yeah. So see... Yeah, don't... Uh, as a Sheik, you you trade off the higher... Like, FD has higher ceiling, so you, can, you can't get caught up the top as easy. But 
if you but if you pick uh, FD, you have no s platforms. And PS also has a platforms that you can get smashed in, so it depends how much you actually want to use the platforms. If the platforms are your biggest like utility, uh, as a Sheik, I really enjoy platforms, so I will take... And that's a clean edge yard. So... The, the needles will... They'll make it so easy, because Falco's horse, uh, horizontal recovery is fine when it comes to the side B, but the vertical recovery is just terrible. And the pressure is going to put on, but gets the read. See, that's say the forward smash is a lot better than the down smash because it sends at a really good angle. The down smash can be teched and also just really doesn't kill as often. But we have a grab, and we have another grab. Misses the third one, and that's important. Once you start hitting th these tech chases more consistently, then you can do it better as the game progresses because your opponent will be flustered. But doesn't look like a lot of that's happening. And good mix up with the recovery. Nice power shield. So these players aren't spacing properly. They're getting really close to each other's shields, and they're not exactly punishing missed opportunities. Like that, she could have turned around or even down smash out of it. They're just they're definitely nervous. That should be death, yeah. So even though that's a higher ceiling than PS1. You still can't get down tilted at 100% because you'll just get down. You just die. That's your DI. Oh, interesting choice of. Wow. So. Uh, okay, edge guard, and now it's two stocks apiece. Game three. This is losers. So this is this is really close, and both players have to be feeling it. He goes for the F smash and does not get the conversion that time. Reverse back air is a beautiful option, especially versus Sheik. Should not have gone for that because it allows her to get center stage, but I feel like the percents are high enough that, yeah, any raw, strong hit will kill. So it comes down to the grabs. There's no platform movement, so she can't tech, ch she can't tech chase on platforms. It all comes down to whether or not Oasis can get grabs and get re-grabs. He seems to enjoy spacing more of tilts than grabs, though. He's just did four tilts in the span of, like, two scenarios. Okay, yeah. Sam's not DIing. Roy's not DIing these properly, so that's death. Alright, so last stock, game three, comes down to... Mm, see, he, he keeps going for the hard read, and it'll pay off sometimes, but sometimes it won't, and it'll lead him to getting grabbed, like this. So, gets the shine. So, Oasis was too slow on the grab there, which is why he was the shine came out. Ooh, interesting. I'm not sure if he went to go for the forward smash, but if he did, that's a really nice cover, really nice option. These, yeah, he's going for these forward smashes. It's pretty crazy. And Oasis wins 2-1. And, uh, okay, just stop recording now. Right? So.